Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor and I'm gonna show you an improvement we've made at our countertop saw. This is one that we don't use very often and so oftentimes we say, hey, we need to improve that, we need to improve that and then we just don't get around to it. Today I spent about an hour on this and I think in the future it's gonna save us a whole bunch of time. Let me show you what we've got. So this has got a, a saw that slides on a carriage. It'll come out, it'll cut countertops up to four feet thick. And the issue we've got is when we put a mark on a top like we've got here, no way right at the at that area to know if we're perfectly lined up with the blade. And so you kind of get it close. You go, okay, I think I got it. And then to get the carriage to move, we have to actually turn the saw on, turn the speed down, creep it out to it, and then hit stop, and then come and eyeball it and say, hey, that looks pretty good. So our improvement was, is we put a laser on it, and so now when you set the piece in, you can see how it lines up. You see that the laser runs right down the curve of the saw blade, and you put it into place. Now this is actually our third try at this. The first try, we had it mounted out here on the saw. Well, that goes back and forth, and we found out that that causes a lot of problems trying to run an extension cord that way. And so then we brought it over here and we put it on this and it had this mount here that had kind of a, a, a double swivel mount. And the problem was you have about seven axes that you're trying to line up and that was too much trouble. So we put an L bracket on it, we put a nice slot in it so we can move the laser back and forth and now it's mounted solid and secure and the only adjustment that we have to make is we can move it in and out or rotate it here so we're only in about two dimensions. Much, much easier. And then if we need to, we feel that we need to make an adjustment with a 716 inch wrench, we can make an adjustment on it. But now when we go throw a top in, we can get it with accuracy. I think we're, with, we're right down the center of the blade within about a sixteenth of an inch and just set it on there and be ready to go. Okay, I've made a couple of test cuts and adjustments. The laser is running right down the center of the cut. That's not ideal, but our, our laser is only about an eighth of an inch wide. We're about two sixteenths on our cut so uh, we'll just have to uh, adjust for that when we're placing it but much much better than what we were doing before uh, nicer easier and safer